Hey, how you doing? So that was fun. I actually, before the video, had to do some work, and the work was I had to cut up a skipjack tuna, an aku tuna that my son caught yesterday, and um, it's still quite fresh. It's been on ice, but I was tasked to go ahead and make it pokey because it's already been a day. So this is what's going on. I have never filleted a fish. If I did, it must have been when I was a child with my mom and dad. So I did the best I could, but I didn't want to capture it on camera. So I'm just going to show you the end result. Okay, so here it goes. So this is the skipjack tuna here. This was about 13 inches. And then this is the tail. And this is the pokey that I got from it. So it's a nice pink and the cubes are very soft. That was a challenge because the meat, it just kind of like would just come off the bones. So the fillet knife has to be really, really sharp like a sashimi knife. So that was a challenge for me, but um, I got it ready so that uh, we can make some raw pokey with the skipjack tuna, otherwise known as pokey aku. All right. So let's get to the recipe. And so let me just show you really quick. It's about a fifth size. So I had to kind of adjust the recipe for that. So that would be kind of like two small fillets. The skipjack tuna was probably only like three pounds. Okay, two sm small fresh fillets. One for sweet onion. So I have half an onion here, but I'm only gonna use one fourth sweet onion. So the sweet onion makes a difference, okay? The regular onion might be too strong, all right? So one four sweet onion, one teaspoon minced ginger, all right? So one teaspoon minced ginger, I got my ginger nub here. So one teaspoon, so I don't wanna put too much so I'll probably just be a little bit shy of one teaspoon. I don't like a strong ginger taste in any, any of my meals. So roughly just a little bit less than one teaspoon. One small chili pepper. So I have this whole small Thai chili pepper, but um, I'm just gonna do one half for now. I can always add more later. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of cut it up a little bit. And remember, I can add the rest later. Okay, so for right now, one half small chili pepper. Okay, one fourth cup soy sauce. All right, so here is my soy sauce here. Just one fourth cup, okay. One half teaspoon sesame oil. So here is my sesame oil here. Got my one half teaspoon here. Okay. One teaspoon for a cocky. So this is for a cocky. All right. There you go. It's Nori call me for a cocky. I'm gonna put this to the side because I want to sprinkle it on top. Okay, so that is one teaspoon for a cocky. Optional macadamia. Just maybe like 10 macadamias into the um, poke. I'm probably gonna smash them a little bit. I'll just do that now. And then green onion for sprinkling also. So I am going to do the brave thing and put the ahi, I mean the skipjack, into the bowl. You ready for this? Okay, here it goes. So here it is. Let me get you a really good close-up of it. All right, there it is. Get you a good close-up where the light isn't hitting it. Okay, into the bowl you go. All right. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it up a little bit.
Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and give me one minute. I'm gonna change my angle here because of the lighting. Hope you can see me better. Okay, so I have the ahi pokey here, okay, I mean the skipjack tuna here, all right, and I mixed it up a little bit, okay, so just show you there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the final ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and add the green onions, okay. I hope you can see it there, just adding it to the top. And then I'm going to sprinkle on the macadamia nuts. All right. And this is more like an appetizer. It's, um, it's not really a meal. I guess if you want to make it a meal, I guess you could. You could add some rice to it and um, maybe have a bowl of fruit with it too. But to me, it's more like an appetizer. So let me show you the finished product. So this is poki aku, about two small fillets, one half, one four sweet onion, one teaspoon minced ginger, one half small chili pepper, one fourth cup soy sauce, one half teaspoon sesame oil and of course we're going to put our furikake on now and then we already put in our optional macadamia nuts and we already put on our green onion sprinkles so let's get a good picture of it there there you go sprinkle our furikake right on top and there you go there is the poki aku. All right. Well, hopefully you try this one day and that you get hold of a fresh aku and try it one day and let me know how it goes. All right. Take care. <laughs>